Okay, so before we get into any CSS, let's get these images under control uh, because they're really too big. And let's look at actually what happened when we did input those images, okay? So on page one, on the home page, um, let's look at the little bit of code that popped up when we inserted that. So you can see the HTML tag is IMG, and it's a closing, uh, it's only one tag, okay? And it just points to a source. If you read through the source, it's images forward slash Beach Boys 1. That's the name I gave the image. And if I open up my, oops, if I open up my image folder, I can see it's right there, okay? So essentially with the image tag, it's working within a directory. It's pointing up one folder forward slash to the name of the JPEG. Okay, if I didn't have that folder, it would just say source Beach Boys 1 JPEG. And that comes from, uh, that would just be like hanging out in here, okay? And it would get really messy, okay? That would be the other reason why you'd want to have an image folder, okay? Because you're going to have all your HTML images, you're going to have your JPEGs. Uh, it can get, in terms of just how the folder is structured, it can get very uh, confusing to look at and probably confusing for you too. So we just want to simplify all of that. Also, this tag gives a width, 1200. That's talking about pixels, height, um, 900. The alt tag, uh, that's referring to uh, screen reader information. Okay. So in our properties inspector, which if it's not open, here, I'll close mine pretending. Mine's not open. I'm going to go open that. And we can also add in some additional information right from that. We can actually make some changes to it. Okay. Um, if I click on it, if I highlight it, I get this little bar right here. And it gives me an image. It tells me how big it is. It tells me the source. I can make the image a link. I can give it a class. Um, I can give it an original, which is referring to, like if I had a Photoshop file of it that I was working on. Um, ID, we'll talk about that later. Class, we'll talk about later. Uh, Photoshop, if I wanted to edit it in any way in Photoshop, I could do that. Um, Adobe has some things you can do in here, but... We don't want to mess around with those, really. If we want to edit it in any way, we should do it in Photoshop, hitting the plug-in button. Size, that's what we're going to do today, right now. And the alt tag and title, okay? The alt tag we should enter in, okay? So I'm just going to write the Beach Boys. And you can essentially make that your title as well, okay? And we can see right here, this populated. Okay, so let's put in the title too. And the title is different than the alt in that it is uh, what's going to happen when you hover over on the web. It'll pop up with a little word that says the Beach Boys. Oh, and see there's the title too. Okay, as you get more comfortable, you can just enter this in yourself. Okay, you can see how it works. Um, after the alt tag, it's just a space and then title uh, in terms of writing the code in here. There's no, you know, uh, there's no uh, commas or anything like that. So let me highlight that again. And let's change the width and height, okay? And this is really important. You want to keep them locked. You want to keep it proportional. So how big should this be? That's really up to you. Uh, I can just tell from looking at it, when I look at it on the web, it's too big. Okay, it looks kind of silly. So let's make the width smaller. Okay, so we just want like a little image of them on the page. And actually the quality of the image is a little blown out. It'll probably look better smaller as well. So let's go for, I don't know, 800. Let's see how that looks. Now the one thing you want to be careful with is that this change I'm making right now is permanent. 
Okay, so it gives me a preview of what's that going to look like. And I'm going to go a little smaller too, because I think that's still too big. So I do want this small. Say, like 500. Just a small image of them walking. There. That looks good. Okay, so there's a thing that says, do I want to reset it to the original? I could. Or do I want to commit to the size? Okay. You need to commit to the size. Uh, or when you preview this um, on the web, it'll still be big. Okay. Or, yeah, it should. Okay. It's not actually been done. So you want to hit yes. And it's saying, you know what you're going to do? Uh, this is going to be permanent. And I'm going to say, okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. So I can't make it bigger again. If I make it bigger again, I'm going to lose information. So you got to be sure about what you're doing. Okay. And there we go. So let's go to page two and let's talk about a little bit about like etiquette of having giant, you know, rows of images. Um, essentially, so they're all different sizes. You can look through here and see like their height. This one's square, it's 12 by 12. This one's like rectangle, 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 rectangle. Okay, so they're all kind of weird and wacky. So in working with lots of images, you typically like make it look best, kind of again, how things look on the web. It's good to pick one size that one side of the width or height that's the same. Okay, so I'm going to go with, I'm going to make the, and I'm just kind of guessing right now what I want to do. I'm going to make their height all the same. Okay, so I just want to have these little images of them on the screen. Not too little though. So I'm going to say like, you know what, let's go with 400 for height. Look out of there. How's that look? Um, you know what? I think we go a bit smaller because he's still kind of big. Let's say 300. There, that's good. Yes. So I'm going to click on the next one of Brian and I'm just going to go with 300 for the height. So they're all kind of even. It'll be weird because their their width is different too, but let's just stick with this for now. And what we're going to do is make this list a row. So they're going across the page. And the height, 300. Okay, so now we just want to go through and give these guys all the all entitled tags as well. Oops. This is Brian Wilson. Oops. Carl. And then this is Dennis Wilson. And then the last one is Mike Love. Oops. All right, there we go. We got that done, okay? So let's go ahead and save all. And again, let's look at this in the web. 
Again, it's not looking great yet, but we're getting there. All right, that looks a little bit better. And then let's go to the home. That looks much better. Okay, so now we want to get this down to um, looking good. Okay, that's going to be our next step. 